matter. See it, touch it, taste it, smell it. By Darlene Still, illustrated by Sherry Boyd. Amazing Science Matter. See it, touch it, taste it, smell it. Table of Contents. What's Matter? Page 4. Three Kinds of Matter. Page 10. Changing States. Page 16. Describing Matter. Page 20. Be a Solid Scientist. Page 22. Matters of Fact. Page 23. Glossary. Page 23. To Learn More. Page 24. Index. Page 24. What's matter? Can you see it? Can you touch it? Can you taste it? Can you smell it? If you can, it is made of matter. Fun fact, even air is made of matter. Take a deep breath. You cannot see air, but you can feel air filling up your lungs. Mountains, trees, and marshmallows all are made of matter. The stars in the sky are made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Look at a car. Look at a scooter. The car is bigger and heavier than the scooter. The car has more matter. Things that have lots of matter are hard to move. It takes a strong grown-up to push a car, but you can push a scooter with just one foot. Fun fact. Things that have lots of matter are also hard to stop once they get moving. It is very hard to stop a train. It is easier to stop a car. It is very easy to stop a scooter. Look at one of your hairs. See how it thin it is? Imagine taking a strand of hair and slicing it into a million pieces. Each piece would be the size of the smallest bit of matter. These tiny bits of matter are called atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. They are much too small to see. Fun fact, atoms fit together to make other building blocks called molecules. Everything in the universe is made of atoms and molecules. Billions of atoms and molecules make up the matter in baseballs and rag dolls and you. Three kinds of matter. Can you hold it? Does it bounce or stretch? Does it feel hard, soft, or squishy? It must be a solid. There are three main kinds or states of matter. Solids are one state of matter. Solids have shapes. A block of wood is a solid, an iron nail, a glass window, and a lump of clay all are solids. Fun fact, you can change the shape of a solid. You can saw a block of wood in half. You can bend a metal paper clip. You can break a window pane. They all still have shapes. Can you pour it? Does it spill? It must be a liquid. Liquids are another state of matter. You cannot hold a liquid. A liquid runs through your fingers. It drips on the floor. A liquid does not have its own shape. A liquid has to be kept inside a container. Fun fact, a liquid takes the shape of what holds it. Look at a bottle of milk. Milk is a liquid. The milk has the shape of the bottle. Pour the milk into a glass. What shape does the milk have now? Blow out some air through your mouth. Where did it go? Now blow some air into a balloon. Watch the balloon get bigger. The balloon holds the air. The air around you is a gas. Gases are the third state of matter. A gas does not have a shape. You cannot pour a gas. A gas floats and spreads out in all directions. It completely fills whatever container it is in. Fun fact, the gas people put in their cars is different from gases such as air. That kind of gas is short for gasoline, a liquid fuel that gives cars energy to run. 
changing states. You now will turn a solid into a liquid. Does this sound like a magic trick? Take an ice cube out of the freezer. Go outside and put it in the sun. Watch the solid ice turn to liquid water. Fun fact, the change from a solid to a liquid is called melting. Melting happens when a solid becomes hot enough. What happens to liquids when they, turn, when they get cold? What is that change called? You now will see a liquid turn into a gas. Watch a kettle on a stove. The kettle is full of water. The burner on the stove makes the water very hot. The hot water turns into a gas called steam. The steam puffs out of the kettle's spout. The steam makes the kettle whistle. Fun fact, gases turn into liquids if they get cold enough. Look at the underside of a lid that has been used to cover a hot pot of soup. The lid is covered with drops of water. The steam from the soup cooled off and turned back into water. Describing matter. Look at the sky. What colors do you see? Take a deep breath. What do you smell? Dip your bare foot in the water. Is it cold? Warm? We know one thing for sure. It's wet. Color, smell, and feel are properties of matter. You can name hundreds of properties that describe all the wonderful matter in your world. Fun fact, a rock and a pillow are both solids, but you can tell the difference. How? How many ways can you tell the difference between wood and glass, milk and water? This is an experiment. Be a solid scientist. What you need, solids, a piece of wood, a nail, a sheet of paper, a stone, aluminum foil, a lump of clay, a cork, a teaspoon of table salt, a feather from a pillow, equipment, a pencil and paper, a wooden board about two feet or 61 centimeters long, a hammer, a bowl of water. What you do, first make a chart to organize your notes as you perform the following tests. List the names of the solids down the left side of the chart. Write these properties across the top. Hard, soft, stretches, tears, bends, breaks, floats. As you do the following tests, put an X in the square if the solid has that property. You will be able to see at a glance the properties of the solids you tested. Test number one, is it hard or soft? Place each solid on the board one at a time. With the grown-up's help, hit each solid with the hammer. What happens? Decide whether each item is hard or soft. Fill in your chart as you test each one. Test number two, does it stretch or tear? Pick up and pull on each item. Which ones stretch and which ones tear? Record what happens. Test number three, can you bend or break it? Try to bend each object. What happens to the paper? What happens to the foil? What happens to the lump of clay? Do any of these objects stay bent? Do any of the objects break in half? Record in the chart if the item breaks or bends, or bends or breaks. Test number four, will it float? One by one, place each item in the bowl of water. Which ones float? Complete your chart. Matters of fact. Lighter than air. Some gases weigh more than others. That's why a balloon filled with helium floats away when you let go of the string. Helium 
is lighter than the air around it. No matter. A space with no matter is called a vacuum. You make a kind of vacuum when you suck on a straw inside a glass of lemonade. Sucking takes the air out of the top of the straw. Matter always rushes to fill a vacuum. That is why your drink climbs up the straw. Feathers and nails. A pillow takes up a lot more room than a box of nails, but the box of nails weighs more than the pillow. Why? The matter in the pillow is packed very loosely. The matter in the nails is packed more tightly. How tightly matter is packed in an object is called the object's density, melt or burn. When ice gets hot enough, it melts and becomes water. When wood gets hot enough, it burns and becomes ash. Water can turn back into ice if it gets cold enough, but ash can never change back into wood. Heat makes matter change in different ways. Smelly matter. Why can you smell dinner cooking? because little bits of matter from the food go into the air. Molecules from the food get in your nose. You can't see molecules, but you can smell them. Melted rocks. Many solids can turn into liquids if they get hot enough. Rock melts in the deep, hot parts of the earth. Melted rock pours out of a volcano like a river of fire. Glossary. Atom, the smallest bit of matter. Atoms are too tiny to see. Gas, a kind of matter that spreads out com to completely fill its container, such as air in a balloon. Liquid, matter that is wet and can be poured, such as water. Matter, Anything that takes up space. Molecule, a building block of matter that is made up of two or more atoms. Solid, matter that has its own shape, such as glass or wood. On this page, you'll see things to help you learn more. For instance, you at the library, you have a list of books that you could look for. On the web, there is a website that you could check out. And there is an index on this page that shows words that are in the book and the pages that they are on. The end.